Oh hi there, thanks for watching my video. So today we're talking about the Broke family. I've been playing a lot of The Sims 2 lately and it's got me all nostalgic, so I've decided to try and turn The Sims 4 into The Sims 2, starting with the Broke family. So for a bit of background, the Broke family is one of the main families in the neighbourhood of Pleasant View when you start a new game in The Sims 2. The family consists of Brandy Broke, her teenage son Dustin and her toddler son Bo. If you look in her family tree, you'll see that Brandy did have a husband, Skip Broke, who was also father to the two boys. Skip is greyed out in the family tree, meaning that he's deceased. He's already dead by the time the game starts, however we do know that he died in a rather strange circumstance. Skip Broke died in a swimming pool accident. Well, actually, a swimming pool ladder accident, so there we go. Rolling the clock back slightly, just to give you a better picture of the Broke family's origins, they are actually present in all of the Sims games. So in The Sims 3, there is the Broke family, and you can see Skip Broke as just a child living with the rest of his family. They kind of set the scene here, really, because they are a large family living very modestly. None of them have a full-time job, and they all have the slob trait, with the exception of Skip. So that's where his roots are. And then also in The Sims 3, there is the Simovich family and the Newby family, where there are two teens, Bob Newby and Betty, who later end up getting married and becoming the Newby family in The Sims 1, which is actually the first family that you play with when you start the game. Bob and Betty Newby have a daughter called Brandy, and as I'm sure you can guess, Brandy and Skip end up falling for one another and make things a fish, which brings us back up to speed in The Sims 2. And just a little nugget of extra info for you, there are some pictures from the family memories that show that when Skip broke and Brandy Newby got together, they lived with Brandy's parents for a little while. Or at least that's what it suggests as far as I'm concerned. But anyway, this brings us to the Broke family now, as in in The Sims 2. So the family tree also tells us that both Skip and the parents of both Brandy and Skip are now dead. So Brandy is well and truly alone to raise these kids. Great! So when you first start playing as the Broke family, you'll notice that Dustin comes home from school with bad grades. So Brandy runs over and has a go. This is what I loved about The Sims 2, man. There were just story milestones already laid out for the player. But anyway, yeah, Dustin wasn't doing well at school when you first start playing. This might be a good time to mention, by the way, that when you click on the family from the neighbourhood view, there will be references to show how that sim is doing in terms of their aspirations. So, Bo Broke is a diaper filler toddler, basically meaning that he hasn't yet achieved that much in terms of his aspirational activities as a toddler. And Dustin is a rebellious teen, which explains his bad grades and dabbling in mischief and whatnot. So it's just kind of useful to be able to see how everyone is doing in that sense before you start actually playing. Another one of my favourite things from The Sims 2 is the relationships outside of the household. So for example, Dustin is actually in a relationship with Angela Pleasant. I guess we all like a bad boy sometimes, don't we, Ange? And also, being that he attends school, he also has relationships with local teens in the area, as you would probably expect. After you've played through a sim day with the Broke family, Brandy will suddenly change into maternity wear and show you that she's pregnant. This suggests that Skip Broke's death was very recent, as it's his baby that she's pregnant with. <sighs> Single mum with a diaper filler toddler, a troublemaker for a teen, and now she's knocked up again. I do feel for Brandy Broke in The Sims 2, her life does look pretty rubbish, and although there has been a few fan theories around her being involved with Skip's death, due to the strange circumstances. I don't think she did actually have anything to do with it. If after he died she suddenly inherited a load of money, then maybe, but that didn't happen, so I think she was pretty devastated when he died. If you play through Brandy's pregnancy, you'll notice that her third child is always born a boy, so three sons to clean up after. The house that the Broke family live in is quite run down and bare. There really isn't much. The pool is teeny tiny and the toddler doesn't have a bedroom and sleeps in the hallway. Brandy, however, has an unnecessarily big bedroom, which makes me wonder, why didn't she just share it with the toddler? So there are a few inconsistencies with the house, though, I think. Like, there aren't really many luxuries in terms of toys for the tot, but for some reason Dustin has a pinball machine in his room. I guess if you use your imagination, you can assume that, I don't know, maybe he stole it from the local tip or something. 
And there isn't a sofa, just a small chair that they can take turns using. The kitchen is small. I'm not sure whether she lives in an actual trailer park, but I do think that that's the look the Sims team were going for, because the shape of the house is just a rectangle, kind of like how a trailer looks. <laughs> When I recreated it in The Sims 4, I wasn't really sure whether to maybe add a few extra things to make the home look more grimy, or just make a few changes, like I was going to put one of the old withered sofas from City Living in there. But in the end, I decided to just try and stick to being as closely accurate to The Sims 2 version as possible. I think the only thing I added um, extra was just like a couple of toys for Bo. But the Broke family are one of my favourite families to play with and I feel like in The Sims 2 there is more of an invitation to play as this family because Brandy's situation is so desperate and it's so tempting to just try and make life better for them. Improve Dustin's grades, help Bo grow up well, try and find creative ways of improving their financial situation whilst also raising the new baby. It's definitely a challenge but it's a very welcomed one as far as I'm concerned. I do find the whole Broke family story just really interesting, it really intrigues me. Let me know what you think, let me know in the comments if you think that Brandy did have some kind of involvement in Skip's death. I don't think she did, but you never know, it's always the ones that you don't suspect, isn't it? I think one of the, one of the theories um, that I've heard is that she did, like, she was somewhat involved in his death um, to try and get, like, the, um... His, his life insurance, I think, uh, but then it just didn't work out, like something went wrong and so she didn't get it, but it just seems a little bit far-fetched to me. I mean, why would you purposely put yourself in a position where you, you're on your own raising two kids? I mean, three now, but obviously she didn't know she was knocked up at this point, but let me know what you think of it. I did try to keep it as, um, as similar to the actual one in The Sims 2 as possible. Looking back at the Broke family and a few other families in The Sims 2 as well, it actually kind of made me feel pretty disappointed with The Sims 4. I know, right? Go figure. But don't get me wrong, I actually do think that there are some really good things about The Sims 4. For example, Build and Buy I think is much better in The Sims 4 than in previous games. But that's not what we're talking about right now. Right now we're talking about families. And it's such a letdown when you take the time to actually look into the families from, for example, The Sims 2 and look at their history. Like a lot of this stuff about the Broke family I didn't even know until I looked into for the purpose of this video. And I was actually quite surprised to see that the Broke family have actually been around for a while. They're referenced in all the games, with the exception of The Sims 4, of course. Like the fact that you can play with Brandy's parents in The Sims 1, Skip's entire family in The Sims 3, you can play as Brandy's parents as teens in The Sims 3. I just think, I don't know, I think it's crazy how they're all connected in all of the games. And then of course we have The Sims 4, an alternate timeline that does not have anyone from this family or many other families that have been in past games. It's almost as if they literally took all of the sentimental stuff and the character backgrounds and just threw it in the trash. And you know, I also wouldn't even be surprised if The Sims 5 also completely pies off the families in the same way that The Sims 4 did, but I guess we'll just have to wait and see. Yeah, it was good. It was good. So I'm thinking what I might do is try and turn um, Willow Creek into like a version of... Um, Pleasant View and just try and bring like some of the well-known families into Willow Creek and basically try and make them look as identical as they did in The Sims 2 and redo their houses exactly as they did until eventually we have everyone from Pleasant View living in Willow Creek and I think next up I'm probably going to try and go for the Pleasant family so I'll probably do a video on them. And then maybe we'll dabble in a little bit of the uh, the Dreamer family. I'm not sure whether I'm going to bother doing Don Lothario because I already did a video. Like I technically have already brought him into The Sims 4 because I've got his house and his life. So I might just put him in Willow Creek, but we'll see. But yeah, that's the video. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, maybe like it. Maybe subscribe if you want. Go crazy. If you're wondering how I only just recently installed The Sims 2, I did it by being sneaky. Well, not really. I'm sure you all know Origin is no longer providing The Sims 2 complete collection. It's been a few years now, so there's no surprise to anyone. But you can still get the game outside of that. 
There's a YouTuber called Pixu, that's P-I-X-U, that has a few videos on how to do this if you're interested. Bear in mind though that as it's no longer officially available, the only way to get it outside of buying discs is by downloading it from third-party websites like Old Games Download or by torrenting. So please be careful if you're going to go down that route. Make sure you know what you're doing. You don't want to give your PC any viruses or anything, so just be mindful of that. And try to use a VPN. Bye-bye.